Paul Mancano here at the PNC Digital Desk, PNC Bank, helping to make banking easier. Orioles lose a heartbreaker. Here's Brandon Hyde meeting with the media. Happened there between innings that, that led to the ejection. Well, during the Mullins at bat, there was just a there was a disrespectful exchange between uh, uh, the home plate umpire and, uh, and our dugout. I felt it was uh, warned me go out there and see what was going on, and and it got heated from there. And I'll let the I'll let uh, we'll go through the proper channels with it. You've obviously, you know, been really praising for a just a pretty rare outing for him. What what do you make of a night like tonight with him? Well, it's not going to be perfect. He's been close to that so far this year. So, uh, you know, leadoff hitter put a great at bat against them. Um, and gets on top of 99 for a base up the middle, and then just leaves a you know two strike slider uh, to a you know a great player. A little too much of the plate there. Um, majority of those guys probably run roll that over for a double play, but but uh, Buxton put a good swing on it. So, I hope he's been. Beyond incredible this year, and and uh, you know it's just those things happen. How impressed were you with Watkins? Yeah, extremely impressed. Uh, you know, Watkins was did everything we asked him. More six inning, he had a tough first inning there, and really found his groove after that first really you know low pitches, um, second through the sixth inning. Um, like love the way he was throwing strikes, mixing pitches extremely well, kept kept guys off balance and and uh, kept us right in the game. So I was really happy with, with how uh, Spencer threw the ball. Ryan McCann has obviously been up a lot of the year now, kind of been on and off in terms of starting. What did, what did you see out of him today? Just a guy finally maybe getting some rhythm, or, or just what do you make of his day? A couple of huge plays. I mean, one defensively with a diving catch on the left field line, and then gets it going there with a double, um, and then a great contact read at third base. Really aggressive uh, textbook uh, contact read at third to – to give us a uh, you know one run lead at that time, um, so you know Max been hanging in there. Max been grinding. Um, nice to see him contribute today. Uh, you know, obviously some losses are harder than others, but is this one pretty tough for you given the the start you got? Twenty one in a row, retired, going to that ninth. The guy you won on the mound, and obviously the ejection earlier. Well, we just haven't lost many leads, and and so the, you know th these things happen to good teams, pr premier closers. You, you, you know, once in a while, you you give it up and. Um, you know, we did do a really good player tonight, uh, Homer, there in the ninth inning. Um, but I thought we were scrappy. We had some chances to add on there that 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 we didn't. Um, we need to start doing a better job of that. And uh, but it's a well played game. We lost by one. Obviously, you guys were frustrated with the strike zone to an extent tonight, including after you left the game. Is that anything that can linger into a game going forward, or is that any part in why the offense scuffled to an extent tonight? No, I think there was some frustration from both sides with the strike zone, but I don't think that that was. It's going to linger into tomorrow. We turn the page and and uh, go from there. Thanks for tuning in. That's all we got from the PNC Digital Desk, PNC Bank, helping to make banking easier.